I went on a mission to make every country's national dish. Oh my god, it looks so good. Wow, it's so slimy. And today we're in Barbados with a special guest, Sheena, in Sheena's lovely home. And she's going to teach us how to make the national dish. Cuckoo and flame fish. So here we have some flame fish, okras, cornmeal, and this is some cucumber for the on the side. So we'll do that last. So what's flame fish? Flying fish is our national fish. Okay. We usually fry it or steam it, but today we're gonna fry some and steam some. Ooh. Um, in Barbados, we lay and saw almost every meat that we use. Why is that? To just cut the rawness from it. We don't leave it too long, especially with flying fish. Flying fish tends to suck the salt. Mm. And if we leave it too long, it ends up being super salty, oh. especially if we're gonna fry it. Okay. So like five minutes tops. Okay. I love okra. Same. And okra can be really slimy inside, but mm. do we want that? Is that fine? Yeah, we need that. Why? Because it brings all the meal together. It's actually part of the national dish. So oh, you need okra. You need okra. okra. Yeah, you need okra in order to cook. So it brings everything together. So what is kaku? It's like almost like a stiff cap. It's like a cereal. Like oh, porridge. Porridge. Okay, like porridge, right, right. We use cornmeal and then we just stiffen it. And there's a lot of pouring and mixing and yeah. pouring and mixing. And that is how we get it to be the nice, stiff consistency that we want our people to eat. And do you think everyone in Barbados would say that this is a national dish? No. Oh, so what other dishes would you say yeah. could be? People know that it's a national dish, but people just extremely love macaroni pie. Ah. And being chicken. So it's like a it's almost like a toss-up. Right. Even though we know that cucumber and flame fish is a national dish, people just really love, especially on Sundays, macaroni pie and baked chicken. We don't want it too salty, so we have to wash it really good. And now we're gonna season. So when I made it, I made beige seasoning and I never have tried beige seasoning before because you can't get it in jars. Mm -hmm. And it's so good. It really so is. So what's in it? So chives, onions, garlic, hot peppers, like scotch bonnet pepper. Yeah. You blend it all up with some salt and some pepper, some olive oil or regular cooking oil if you have. Yeah. Amazing. Wait, can I smell it? I'm just yeah, of really course. excited. So this one is like a Maggie seasoning and then this one is the actual Bajan this is the main one. This is the Bajan wow. seasoning. I like to mix the two together. Okay. You don't have to, but this one is a more green. So this has a lot of marjoram, mm. thyme. You can really smell the herbs. Yeah. I so, don't. I don't put nearly enough herbs. I extremely mine. love that one. This one has a lot of garlic oh, and stuff like that. We so. love garlic. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just mix it all up, and then we use this to season our flying fish. And then we just put it between. <gasps> wow. Do you yeah. cut it like this or did the mm. fishmonger do the it? Here where you see yeah. it is bone. Oh. So they take, they debone it. And if we can't find flying fish, what's the closest fish? You can probably use like marley, red herring, salt fish. Red herring, like salt cod, fish. Cod yeah, cod. Fish. Okay. Cod. I've never seen marley in the UK. But I tried it, it was delicious. Yeah, it's really good. And what else could you use this Beijing seasoning for? You can use this for fish, chicken, soups. If you're making like it smells rice and you so want to make nice. your rice really seasoned, yeah. you can put this in almost everything that you need to season to taste. So we're gonna put the okras in the water now. Yeah. Okay. This water is gonna be very essential to us when we are making our right. the slime water. The slime water. Right. We need that water. Okay. We're gonna prep the stuff for the gravy. Onion. So what would you say is like Bajan food? Bajan cooking is like, it's just super authentic. It's from your soul. So we don't use measurements. Mm. We don't really listen to what anybody else <laughs> tells and we don't google recipes no google. so whatever you are feeling yeah you cook whenever your ancestors tell you to stop putting in salt is when you stop putting in salt <laughs> then you feel it when exactly. you feel it when you feel it in yeah. your bones is when you stop you know ah. just testing just, just testing the pan my god monster so you put some cooking oil so all of that good stuff Ooh. goes in there i'm gonna make my recipe is it like a quarter of a kilo of butter. Yeah, you need, I was like, what? You need butter. We're going to just let that sweat a bit and then we're going to add our water and our seasonings and make that a nice thick gravy mm. for a cuckoo. <laughs> we're going to come out over here to mix the cuckoo. We don't want it on the heat. Oh, it's not on the heat. We don't want it to, to get too tight while we are mixing. I made mine on the heat. Um, it was thick. Yeah. <laughs> so I just put in the pepper. <laughs> Two of these Maggie seasoning. Maggie seasoning. Has to be Maggie. Has to be Maggie. 
And the squash bonnet, you just put it in whole, you didn't chop it up? I didn't chop it up because it's too hot. Oh! So we let the juices and the heat take what's inside of it, but right. we don't want it to be too spicy that it's inedible. Oh, so mine was quite spicy. Exactly. You cut it up. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to cut it up. <laughs> Good slimy water. Wow, it's so slimy! Um, I'm gonna fry five of the five of the things okay. and I'm gonna steam the other five so you can just. Oh, have okay. It. How would you normally have it though? Fry? Steamed. Steamed? Okay. Is that just to make it a bit healthier or because you like it steamed? No, that's just the national dish. It's done steamed. Oh. However, I, it's really, really good with fried. Yeah. So, but we have to do like almost everything at the same time because. We need the cocoa to be hot. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that everything is prepped. This is flour. So this is just some seasoning for the flour. What seasoning? Maggie. Of course. <laughs> Maggie. Okay, why did I ask? Of course it's Maggie seasoning. So it's just that and some flour. These are the steamed ones that okay. we're gonna fold. Oh, I never rolled fish like this. So now we're gonna make the cornmeal. So we're gonna put a little bit of our oat cold water in, cornmeal in, and we're gonna get our Imitation cocoa stick. So what's a cocoa stick? A cocoa stick is what we use to stir cocoa or give children la lashes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it? So what does it look like? It actually looks like this, but a bit thicker. Yeah. You have to do a lot of stirring because the hot slimy water and the stirring actually cooks the water. Mm. And do you put the okra back in as well? Yeah. Oh, I didn't do that either. You didn't put, you, yeah. didn't, you used the water though. I used the water, yeah, but I didn't put it back in. We need the oat cream. We need the oat cream. Was it all of it? Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> it's in there now. <laughs> but it looks good. It's looking good. My yeah, arm's quite tired. Let me, let me help. <laughs> so we're going to put it on the stove now anyway. So good. So when I made it, my water definitely wasn't as slimy as now, and I definitely didn't have enough okra in it because the texture of this it's is completely yeah, it's completely different. I love foreign mm -hmm. cucumbers. Cucumbers yeah. taste different in every single Everywhere. country. It's almost like melon-like. Mm. It looks so good. Wow! Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Fried fish. Wow. But that is it. This is how you make flying fish and cuckoo. It looks incredible. I'm so excited to try it. Mmm. This is so creamy. And this sauce at the bottom. Oh my god, I could drink it. Amazing. Right, so have you tried our Marby syrup as yet? No, what is it? Right, so it's like a Bajan made um, syrup. You mix it with water. It's really, really good, really good and you actually eat it with cocoa. Oh, that's so nice. Mm. Okay, so I just need to show you our plates. Literally licked clean. <laughs> This is so, so, so good. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make this. It was delicious. And I'm so glad I finally had to make it properly. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you You're so welcome. much. Also, this house could not get any better. There's literal puppies everywhere. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my 